Welcome to the Hollywood Scholar, I'm Jed Morgan. And with the recent release of Stranger Things Season 4 Part 1 and the heightened attention given to Will's character and his potential sexuality, a lot of fans are speculating on whether or not he's gay. And I think I'm going to have a very different perspective on this whole situation than the majority of people who watch my videos and are in this type of sphere. Normally, any other Netflix show, I'd roll my eyes and say, uh, Netflix is going to immediately stop writing him well with any sort of complexity and he's just going to be written like shit and that'll be the end of Will's good character because Will is a very good character, at least more so in the first few seasons, less so now. But there are hints that he will be from how he was treated in earlier seasons, what people called him, to how he behaves, that painting that he's setting up that he wants to give to Mike. I think he's going to be revealed to be in love with Mike. And... I'm actually going to be okay with it, merely because these Stranger Things writers have a good track record versus the rest of Netflix's track record. I think the writing of Robin being gay was done very well, and she is a very deep character beyond her gay personality. She is much more than that. I think that's the important part that most of Netflix doesn't understand. As soon as Netflix writes someone who's gay, that's all they are. They are nothing else. But these writers, they've proven that they can write a character as gay and so much more. So with them doing it to Will as well, I feel like they've earned the benefit of the doubt from me. And it, it seems like it would fit his character very much from all the setup they've done the last few seasons to the way he behaves. A lot of people thought he was gay anyway, the actor was gay. So like with all that in consideration, I, I really don't care. I think it might actually be an interesting arc to his character, especially with him being in love with Mike. And there is some fan speculation in this article that says that since Mike and Elle have been drifting apart a little bit that they might be saying that Mike is starting to get in love with Will. That I don't think is the case. Mike, I think, is definitely straight, but the drama between him and Will might be an interesting one, kind of similar how Steve was in love with Robin and then she came out as gay. It was a subtle thing, didn't spend much time on it, and I think these writers have earned the benefit of the doubt in this situation. But some of the actors have addressed this fan speculation on whether or not Will is gay. So I want to jump into it. So in a recent interview with Finn Wolfhard, Mike, and uh, the guy who plays Hopper, there's some conversation about Will being gay. And so answering the question, uh, Will, he uh, if you've been watching the show, you would see that Will is not interested in Elle. Yeah, some people thought that for some reason that meant he was jealous of Mike or something like that. He's interested in someone else in the group. He later clarified, Will wants to be in the basement with Mike playing D&D for the rest of his life. Yeah, anyone who's been watching the show, that's definitely his highest priority. And that would track with him being in love with Mike. And then we have this quote from the Will actor himself. Noah, I can't pronounce his last name. I feel like they will never address it or uh, blatantly say how Will is, he told Variety. I think that's the beauty of it, and it's just up to the audience's interpretation. If it's Will's kind of just refusing to grow up and growing up slower than his friends, or is he really gay? So that does throw a wrench into it, and I think that might actually be the best route forward, is if he's right, is if they just leave it up to fan expectation, because... There's a lot going on in the show, and if the writers are being pressured after Will comes out by Netflix, if they're pressured to make it a bigger part of the story, it might be better just to not have him come out at all and just leave it up to the fans' imagination. That way it doesn't take over the story like Netflix probably would want it to, considering their other shows, their other original shows. And then there's a few comments here from Millie Bobby Brown that don't really, really apply, and a few others. But I think in general, this wouldn't be a bad thing for the series, considering the writers who are involved... Normally, I'd really roll my eyes if any other Netflix show out there, any single other Netflix show out there, I'd be very concerned about this. But with these guys, I have to give them the benefit of the doubt. I have to wait till season four, part two comes out to see how well they address it. And if they address it poorly, I'm going to be calling them out for it. But they have proved that they have some writing talent. Now, season four, I did like better than seasons two and three, but I still thought it was just all right. But I seem to be in the minority in that. Apparently, a lot of people are loving this more than any since the season one. So I, I have to trust these guys because they, they've they worked on some really incredible stuff in the past. And then with Sean Levy as a producer, I, I trust these guys to deliver us a good portrayal of all these characters. So, uh, again... I don't really care one way or another as long as it's written well and that's my top priority and these writers seem like they may write it well. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Anon. If you like what I do here and want to see good compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern-day mental illness issues. Books 1, Down in Flames, and Book 2, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. 
book three, Kill the Dark, coming soon.